it has been brought to an early end because of this transition to a new government and new parliament. Indeed, the 2016 2021 government expires at midnight tonight. I therefore want to thank very much Right Honourable Deputy Speaker, the Parliamentary Commission, the Leader of the Opposition, the Party and the Defendant Whips, Chairpersons of the Standing and Sessional Committees, Members of Parliament, the Clerk and her team of administrators and support services for the work done. I'm particularly grateful to the members and staff for the exceptional support during this unprecedented COVID-19 pandemic when I and the Commission have taken the risky decision to continue working on the budget for 2020-2021, despite the lockdown, curfew, and other restrictions. We enacted many laws, as you have been informed, supported the many loan requests for the development of Uganda. I am satisfied that the members of the 10th Parliament have effectively carried out the core functions of legislation, appropriation, representation, and oversight. This despite uh, the conditions of the lockdown, but also four months taken out of our calendar because of the presidential, parliamentary, and local government elections. And despite the high rate of attrition, when the members have continued to carry out their duties, I think that members of this house can work with their heads high for a job well done. I also like the opportunity to thank the right of the Prime Minister, the Deputy Prime Ministers, members of the Cabinet, have presented and processed business in this House. I also thank actually the President who has executed the responsibilities of conducting the official of the Parliament at the State of the National Address, as well as presenting the Daniel Budget for the country. And members, uh, I want to uh, pay tribute to the members for the work done for the staff, and I do recall that uh, on one occasion, when we had just uh, started working this tent, the wind blew away our tent, the president was in Entebbe addressing us, we were here, and I wondered whether we are, the, the things not fly away and collapse the budget, but things uh, still took place, and we made, were able to complete rid of the budget. I'm delighted that uh, during this uh, third meeting, we have taken a decision uh, to handle the reports of the Auditor General, uh, to adopt them and send, and send them to own for value for, value for money audits, uh, uh, without necessarily have to deal with them one by one because of their numbers. We took that resolution, which is going to help us to do our work. Uh, I want again to thank the clerk and her team. All this we are saying, the bills, the motions, they would not have been possible without the clerk and her team. I want to really thank you very, very much. Now, on our members, I want to draw your attention to Rule 232 of the Rules of Procedure. It provides for lapse of business upon dissolution of the House. However, Rule 322 provides that the business which has lapsed will be reinstated. I therefore assure our members and the citizens that uh, uh, under Rule 2323, a motion will be moved in the second sitting of Parliament, of the new Parliament, to restate the business which has not been completed. And Rule 32.5 requires that this business must be handled in the first session of the new Parliament. So, honour members, I would want to ask that uh, those who are continuing the, the next uh, Parliament uh, to ensure that this work is done and completed to the satisfaction of the citizens of Uganda. Now, on our members, uh, we shall today adjourn the House signed die. However, I want to not read the proclamation. And it is being done because of exigencies that I don't want to go into. This is the proclamation by the Speaker of the Parliament of Uganda. Whereas closely the Constitution provides that the term of Parliament shall be five years from the date of the first sitting after a general election. And whereas Article 96 of the Constitution provides that Parliament shall stand dissolved upon expiration of its term as prescribed by Article 77 of the Constitution, noting that the first sitting of the 10th Parliament commenced on the 19th May of, uh, day of May 2016. Now, therefore, be proclaimed that the 10th Parliament of Uganda shall turn, stand dissolved with effect from the 18th day of May 2021, given under my hand and Parliament House at Parliament House Kampala, 
this 11th day of May 2021, Rebecca Kadaga, Speaker of Parliament. That's a proclamation. So, uh, fingers. <laughs> Our members, House Adjunct, join